Hello, my name is Holly Mueller, and I want to thank you so much for coming to my recital. Tonight I'll be performing um, the Italie Chaconne in G minor. Before we proceed, I find it essential that we take a moment to acknowledge the land that we're on and how it's stolen land from the Puyallup tribe. The Puyallup people have lived on Tacoma for many years and depend on natural resources such as salmon to prosper and to, to sustain their cultural practices and livelihood. The Treaty of Med Medicine Creek forked, forced this tribe onto reservation land so that colonial interest could flourish. I acknowledge the systematic change in the form of land back policies and political action needs to be given to these people and that my existence on this land is at the cost of inhabitants for these people. And moving forward, the name of the composer of the piece I'm performing for you tonight is named Tommaso Antonio Vitali. He was born in Bologna, Italy in 1663 and died in Madonia, Italy in 1745 at the old age of 83 years old. The proper name of this piece is Vitali's Stracone in a G minor. Um, it's by Tommaso Antonio Vitelli, and it was arranged, the version that I will be playing tonight was arranged by Ferdinand David in 1867. This arrangement um, was the first time this piece was actually published, despite the original version, which was transcribed in early 1700s by Vitelli. This version was premiered by Ferdinand David the same year that it was published in 1867. To whom this piece is written for is a mystery, and some even speculate that this piece wasn't originally written by Tommaso Antonio Vitali, but rather Ferdinand David wrote it and pulled inspiration from pieces such as Johann Sebastian Bach's Partita in D minor. This belief is partially due to the excessive harmonic modulations that are found within this piece, and um, this type of harmonic modulation is considered irregular during the Baroque era. This speculation though is not proven, so we're going to be continuing on the um, the assumption that um, Tommaso Antonio Vitali is the composer. Here are some interesting facts about the composer. He was a composer and violinist from the Baroque era, and um, Vitali is known for his chamber music and uh, trios and sonatas that he wrote throughout. Um, but this piece that I'm performing for you tonight is his most famous piece. He flourished musically, being the son of a cello, famous cello player named Giovanni Battista Vitali, and he grew up playing music with co close instruction from his father. He played in the Este Court Orchestra in Italy at only 12 years old, and he was first chair in the orchestra, and he continued with this um, orchestra for over 60 years, which is quite an accomplishment. The reason that I like this piece so much is I find it a beautiful balance of virtuosic challenging finger techniques for the performer, while also including um, quite emotive and powerful qualities that I'm intrinsically drawn to in pieces. To me, this piece is very beautiful because it's in a minor key. I am and always have been really drawn to minor pieces because to me, they sound less bright and rather they sound troubled and dark. To me, they sound like they're telling a story. Working on this piece, I've learned the challenges involved, including the detache or off the bow bowing technique. And I've also learned that this piece is rhythmically difficult. I've also learned the power and pain that can be captured in every motive of the melody and how to bring these moments out. While you listen to my performance, I hope that you keep an ear out for the descending tetrachords that can be found in this piece. It should sound similar to a motive that's repeated and modified down by three intervals. So keep an ear out for that. Now, you can't miss the melody. I hope to convey feelings of pain and strength that I hear the melody including. Something to note about this piece is that it's called a chaconne. A chaconne is musically understood as a piece that repeats certain phrases over and over with a continual bass line. Um, and so just remember this description while you hear this piece. In conclusion, 
Thank you so much for coming to my concert tonight. I really hope you enjoy the piece and are able to connect to some of the perceived feelings that I notice as peace embodying, like the juxtaposition of pain and strength. Thank you so much. Enjoy the concert.